Curcumin is the active compound found in the spice turmeric, which has been the subject of extensive scientific research due to its observed anti-cancer properties. This naturally occurring polyphenol has demonstrated a remarkable ability to interfere with multiple stages of cancer development. The world-renowned physician and scientific researcher, Dr. William Lee, recently focused on several key features of this natural substance. Curcumin. Now, curcumin is a bioactive that does a lot of really powerful things. Curcumin lowers inflammation in your body. It's sort of the OG, one of the original anti-inflammatory substances. All right, that's what curcumin does, um, anti-inflammatory. Curcumin also can um, cut off the blood supply, feeding cancer. So it's anti Angiogenic. This is something that uh, I did work on years ago uh, and to help discover that activity. Uh, curcumin also is antioxidant, so it actually protects your DNA. While Dr. William Lee touches on a few important features of curcumin, the latest research shows this compound has the potential to deliver far more benefits. Today, we will examine the full array of anti cancer and health optimizing functionality documented in the latest studies of this herbal supplement. The information will help you determine if curcumin should be added to your daily consumption of vital nutrients. We will use the anti-cancer nutrition app, Nutrilive, to take a deeper look. Okay, so we have our Nutrilive app up, and we'll go ahead and search for curcumin. Normally, we have to type in the name into the search bar, but not for curcumin. This is a pre-sorted list of top 50 items in the catalog, uh, pre-sorted by NutriPoint value, curcumin at the top of the list, and easy to see why. It uh, has an absolute terrific uh, display of anti-cancer functions and health optimizing functions that have been observed in studies. Um, just nothing else to say, but curcumin is an absolute powerhouse. Uh, very evident why. Focusing first on the anti-cancer side, um, for those that are looking for a substance that's going to help prevent cancer, what you're looking for is something that's known as an anti-carcinogenic. That means the abil ability to prevent uh, cancer cells from forming. Um, when you have uh, this many anti-cancer functions, it's clear to see why this, this is known uh, uh, to be preventive, observed in studies to do that. Specifically, though, uh, curcumin's been shown to interfere with carcinogen activation, and it also enhances detoxif detoxification enzymes. Uh, so two important factors there. But, you know, you know, for those that are looking for something to target active disease, you know, you, you always want flexibility, something that has lots of different mechanisms of action, and curcumin, you know, clearly... Uh, demonstrates that, you know, one of the ones that we're always looking for is apoptosis. This is the ability to trigger programmed cell death and cancer cells. Uh, so that's been observed. But I, I want to focus on angiogenesis uh, for curcumin. So angiogenesis is one of those many bodily processes that cancers hijack. Tumors are greedy for resources to fuel their growth. Tumors use angiogenesis to form new blood vessels to consume more resources. But curcumin steps in. It's been known to inhibit angiogenesis for tumors by downregulating proangiogenic factors such as VEGF and BFGF. It also suppresses the expression of MMPSs involved in new blood vessel formation. So something that can help starve uh, cancer of resources, curcumin. Moving forward to autophagy. One way that uncontrolled cells grow up to be can cancer is because they resist the body's recycling system known as autophagy. Curcumin promotes autophagy in cancer cells through multiple pathways. This is including activate, activation of AMPK as well as inhibition of AK, AKT, mTOR signaling axis. Uh, this process can lead to autophagic uh, cell death in some cancer types. So those are two key anti-cancer functions. There's a bunch more, as you can see, if you want to uh, expand this anti-cancer summary down at the lower section, you can read about each one. If you kind of lose your way as far as, you know, what these mechanisms of action are, always access this appendix in the lower right. Click that button and you'll get a description of all of these functions as well as the health optimizing functions. 
On the health optimizing side, I want to focus on two uh, that I, I, I think are many are very important. I know a lot of you do as well. One is brain health. So curcumin has uh, is clearly shown in studies neuroprotective properties, potentially uh, benefiting cognitive function and reducing the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, but really a neat and rare trick uh, that curcumin has that it, it has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. And, and, and through this, it can reduce inflammation and oxidative st stress in the brain. And, and also it may help clear amyloid plaques associated with Alzheimer's disease, which is you know, a fantastic, promising discovery there. Um, sticking with neurological improvements, curcumin also influences neurotransmitter systems particularly serotonin and dopamine. And, and, and this, this might contribute to effects on mood as well as cognitive function. Um, so basically this means it may help with uh, alleviating symptoms of depression and anxiety by modulating these neurotransmitter pathways. Um, scrolling down a bit more here, hey, for all of you that are looking for ways to target metabolic vulnerabilities in cancer cells, uh, three for three on metabolic pathways blocked is, is fantastic. You know, particularly of note, you know, a lot of you, uh, I, I know, uh, have seen Dr. Thomas Seafried's videos. Uh, he's, you know, one of those, uh, you know, really pounding the table about targeting glutamine, starving cancer of, of that resource, uh, as well as glucose, um, can, can lead to a better outcome. Um, glucose, you know, that you can you can starve uh, pretty straight in a lot of straightforward ways. I mean, there's there's you know there's food, there's some supplements, there's even some some medications that can be prescribed off label. Um, you know, by by licensed medical providers, they can determine if that's appropriate for you. But you know, nutrition is an obvious way you could substantially reduce the amount of glucose intake, um, and, and and that'll help reduce the amount of circulating glucose. Um, you know, that's available for can uh, for cancer cells. Glutamine's a, a bit harder, you know, you know the, the Don that Dr. Thomas Seafried talks about, it's, it's difficult to, to get your hands on because it's, it's not FDA approved to treat anything. Uh, so licensed medical providers are very hesitant to prescribe something like that. So, um, you know, glut, uh, you know, uh, excuse me, curcumin is one of these supplements out there that uh, has been shown to block that pathway. So speak to a licensed medical provider to determine if this is something that's appropriate for you. Um, uh, as well as considering it as uh, to, to pair with a standard treatment. Um, there's, it's been known to reduce side effects for a number of different um, standard treatments like chemo, radi radiotherapy, as well as hormone therapy, but also known to be a chemo radiosensitizer. Um, so it can improve uh, the ability for those types of treatments to be more effective. Um, it's also known to improve efficacy of the immune system that's responsible for targeting, um, identifying, mitigating cancer cells, your natural killer cells, T cells, B cells. Um, so it, it may be beneficial for those using uh, immunotherapies. So again, you know, speak with your oncologist to, you know, review the evidence with them, determine if this is something that could be uh, helpful in your treatment. Um, of course, you know, curcumin supplements are not going to have, they shouldn't have sugar. If they do have sugar in them, then don't use them. Um, so it is going to be keto friendly. Uh, but boy, you know, uh, you, you know, we love seeing uh, any type of item, natural substance that has anti-cancer stem cell uh, capability because there's just not enough of them out there. Um, you know, for those of you that aren't familiar with cancer stem cells, we always talk about this. There's a video that's going to be in the description that's, that does a really great job of summarizing the last three decades of, of research into cancer stem cells. But the quick summary is these uh, cancer stem cells are, are pretty convincing evidence that they're responsible for tumor initiation, progression to metastasis. Uh, as well as situations of recurrence where people, you know, are able to get to a point of no evidence of disease. They think they got it beat, and then a year later it comes back, um, not responding to therapies that we responded to before. Um, you know, that's largely believed to be brought on by cancer stem cells. So anything that you can intake that's a natural substance known to be safe that can target cancer stem cells, you know, we, we absolutely would uh, like to consider that for use. Um, so going down to the consumption summary, this really gets into examples of dosages that have been observed in clinical trials. Uh, so again, this is just information that's summarized from 
study. So, you know, work with your, your provider to determine what dosage would be, would make sense for you. Uh, but you do have that information uh, available in the app. Uh, and then we, we, as always, you know, you can expand these to, to learn more uh, details about each one of these areas, you know, the, the, the different um, properties that, it, that, that we saw bulleted at the top. Um, but, you know, we also have uh, the links to the source material that was analyzed to create this profile. So you, you, know, you always can click on these and go directly to the studies. So scrolling back up to the top, quick recap. Uh, NutriPoint value of 300 is is an absolute fantastic score, um, you know, well deserved because of the large amount of anti cancer and health optimizing functions, three for three on metabolic pathway, and uh, you have evidence of 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 killing cancer stem cells. You're going to get a great score for that. Um, but for that great, you know, for for all this functionality, it's something you got to pay for. You could pay for. You can see that there's three dollar signs there. It's certainly not one of the the cheaper. Um, you know, supplements that were that are analyzed in this app. So I hope that this curcumin uh, profile review was useful for you. As always, what we're trying to do with the NutriLive app is, is really just provide an easy way to apply information from medical research to make intentional nutritional decisions uh, that can help generate a better outcome, you know, for you and others. Uh, so if, if you'd like to explore the app more, open uh, the video description. You can find some links to sign up for the app, uh, as well as you can access studies and other useful links uh, that were discussed in this video today. So thank you very much for watching the video. Um, we hope you live long and live well.